Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. So we're gonna drill down on love and money. So let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see. Let's start with money. I know you came here for love, but we're gonna start with money, right? All right, let's see what's going on for in money for Cancer. Okay, so the sun card, maybe starting something new, spending money on vacation, pleasurable items, things that you love. You could be focused on, you know, um, business matters. It's the king of cups. You could be in a medical profession or you could be in a profession where you have to deal with a lot of different personalities and you do well at it or you do well with this. Um, it's in your wheelhouse here. Um, you have to act uh, with an air of compassion, understanding, um, but still with a strong hand. Some of you are supervisors or managers or of some it's a lot of people under you okay a lot of people look up to you to i heard be the dividing factor i don't know or the deciding factor okay so you make a lot of decisions and whatever it is you do in your job or at your job or at your own business um some of you with the king of cups you could be in the arts so you could be an artist or artiste or you could be an actor, actress, um, art, something creative, something that you do that is creative or this is what you wanna get into. It causes for maybe you to unleash your inner child, for you to go deep and maybe take on a new perspective, a new face. So some of you are actors here. Some of you, um, you have a lot of fun at work, or you have a lot of friends at work. Um, with the king of cups here you very focused on business matters so maybe you you focus on maybe establishing your business having a business you know let's see what's going on for you cancer and career finance this card wanted to fall onto the floor we've got the three of pentacles so whatever you're doing you're doing some high quality work it could have something to do with paperwork and you could be, push paper you know paperwork pusher you could be a secretary or something like that or whatever it is you do it's a lot of paper involved or maybe legal or legal legalities um there's also an energy where you have to work with other people or something works in tandem or there's a rhythm to it this person does that and then this ha i have to do this and then it feeds into that and something of that nature you also are doing really really good work your superiors or the people who are above you they're looking at you like you are a key component in making this thing work uh, and making this business um, flourish, grow. Um, somebody could want to partner with you, a partnership in a business. Someone could be asking if you want to buy into um, the three of pentacles. What else? What else? Yeah, things have just come into some rhythm. You just It just is what it is. This is what you do. Um, you have your off days. You have your days where you do nothing or you have for yourself and then you're on and you do your work um it says you're doing high quality work because this is what you should be doing it's also blessed by the divine you know there's also balance with you you know um the king of cups is directly related to temperance so the angel of temperance again you are like the deciding factor or you're the person that does something in moderation or you you give the levels or the the go ahead to get something done or i don't know you know um whatever it is you do you do it well people are looking at you co-workers superiors people are looking at your work that you're putting out and they're like man that's phenomenal it's um it's outstanding it's uh um, you know it's beyond belief for some of these people um that you can get all of this accomplished some of you are looking for a new business or passive income or something that won't uh, require so much of your time all right so let's see it could be in real estate also something about paperwork um it could be a partnership too all right, let's see what is going on or this is group group collaborations they want to go back to it group collaborations like everybody pooling their money to start to get this going um this could even be in the music industry also contracts and then arts all right so let's see, love for cancer, finally getting the love, right? Love for cancer. 
Okay, so the nine of wands, you've been through a lot, maybe with a Sagittarius person or somebody who was non-committal, in and out, hot and cold, kept you waiting, um, kept you as a scapegoat. It was an everyday struggle. You didn't know what you were gonna get with this person. They breadcrumbed you, or this is what you did. Um, six of wands, all right? So it's like maybe um, they kept you as an option or they just wanted you to feed their ego. Um, you chasing after them, you know, it kind of um, gave them a high level of esteem or, you know, it, build, it built their self-esteem. Some of you could be in an energy where you don't want a committed relationship or you're not committed to anyone. Six of Wands is like you're going your own way. You're okay or you're choosing to be single. You're choosing to not have a committed relationship. You could have been a part of some cheating scenario, scandal, or some scandalous behavior. Somebody decided not to be a part of this, you know, they decided that they didn't want to roll in the mud with all of this drama and frustration, this love affair. It could have been a fight or fighting, a lot of fighting, a lot of physical activity or what's going on in love for cancer. Somebody could have got found out also in a cheating scenario, like the, their person found them out. This could be you, could be someone else. What is going on for cancer? Yet yeah, page of pentacles. Some of you just wanted to maintain some relationship for the physical. Some of you got money out of it or you got something physical, something tan tangible, or you got, you know, um, a physical release. You got sex out of it. You got um, something that could be measured, you know, quantity, quantify. So this was, this looks like opportunity, opportunity or opportunist. Um, somebody was an opportunist or this is you um, somebody with the page of pentacles somebody has a lot of choices in love and they know they need to make a choice they may have found their choice or found their one um, but then there's a need to make amends or do something healthy or be healthy um, learn how to be in a healthy relationship with the page of pentacles one more card for love and then we'll jump to your advice and we'll get out of here. Yeah, eight of cups. So somebody walked away from people, places, things, this is love, that didn't serve them. You know, whatever it is, it wasn't fulfilling. It was only halfway fulfilling or a little bit fulfilling or there was always still an energy of discontentment, boredom, despondency, not enough. It's like somebody knows where they want to be or who they want to be with, but there's no offer here. Maybe somebody didn't want to be with you because you weren't offering anything or vice versa. You don't want to be with this person because they weren't really offering anything outside of maybe a cycle or a cycle of an emotional cycle. So it was something that can't be quantified. It's something that's whimsical. It comes, it goes. Maybe this person was kind of like that. They come, they go. Um, they don't stick around. Some of you are finishing up a cycle of just being in relationships that don't mean anything. All right, let's get you some advice. Listen to your intuition. They're speaking loud to you. This one's gonna come out. Get a big fat yes with the exclamation point. So it's a definite yes for you. Um, you got helpful people around you. Um, people want to see you succeed. They want to see you move forward. They want to see you grow. Get a big old fat yes. All right, all right, all right. So we do clarify our yes answers. I'm gonna pull one card for the yes answer. What is the yes answer? Yes. Seven of Pentacles. Whatever you're separated from, whatever you put a lot of energy into, whether it be a relationship, business, what, what not, it's a yes, maybe in, in terms of do you continue? Because the Seven of Pentacles gets to a place of reflection or a reevaluation, trying to evaluate or reevaluate if you should keep going. The answer is yes. Whomever you are restricted from or if they put restriction on you or 
whatever happened, you're restricted. They're restricted. There is no activity. There's inactivity between you and somebody else. It's a big fat yes. Okay. And there's a big cup of love that maybe you have for them or they have for you. The Ace of Cups coming out. This is what I have for you. Cancer, if it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your reading there. Ask a question or two or eight by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. When you book your reading, use code 40OFF. It gets you 40% off any reading at the website level. Take care. Many blessings.